Back on the Young Turks. Now, uh, we've got movie reviews for you guys. Um, of course, Matt Ashley from Rotten Tomatoes, uh, editor-in-chief, and uh, Ben Mankiewicz, host of Turner Classic Movies, joins us. But that's you, Ben, right there. Yeah, yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> oh, that was a good smile. That was good. And you know what I am? I'm the host of the Young Turks. I don't know if you know that. So um, <laughs> we're going to review... Um, Bad Lieutenant for you guys. That's the Nick Cage, Eva Mendes uh, movie that now, was... Sorry to interrupt. To be clear, we're reviewing Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans. We're not reviewing not, the mid-90s, Abel Ferrara, Harvey Keitel, Bad 90, Lieutenant. I think 92. 92. 92 right. for, for the original Bad Lieutenant, which but, Werner Herzog, the director of, uh, of Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, uh, New Orleans, says is in no way a remake. Right. Except. Even, except. It totally is. Except it is. <laughs> it is. Um, now, uh, what I was going to say is Magically Buried. Uh, it's got Eva Mendez. It's got Nicolas Cage. As I'm about to tell you, I kind of liked it, although it was strange. Uh, wh why did this not get more hype? Does anybody know that? Let me start the review in that bizarre way. I think that, uh, and Matt, you'll probably be better able to answer this than I, so I'll give me give a, a quick answer. Basically, you know, many movies, first of all, it's strange. So there was a right. realization from the people who would be behind from whatever, I don't even know. I ne almost never know what studio's doing a movie. Um, but that they thought, this is bizarre and, uh, uh, and not going to make a lot of money. So let's just have it be artsy and be what it is. And it got released in the middle of everything. And sometimes, year after year, quality movies that show up in late October, mid-November, early December that aren't big, uh, just get lost in the shuffle, which right. is in part why we're doing this now and, you know, didn't do it some time ago, other than the fact that we didn't have this then. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think you're absolutely right, though. It's, it's a Werner Herzog movie, which mm -hmm. are a tough sell, right? I mean, you know, he did Grizzly Man, which is a great movie, but yeah. not wide appeal. Um, Rescue Dawn, another mm -hmm. one, that you kind of have to know Herzog's work and you have to be kind of the film freak. You, you got to be, you know, it's, yeah. It, it, he makes movies that really appeal to film lovers, but don't, as much as he, you know, and he told us this in an interview, that he considers that his movies are mainstream appeal, they kind of aren't. Mm -hmm. You know, they're a tough sell. And this one, in particular, I think with the timing, and I think that they didn't quite market it right. It, you know, this movie really is a black comedy, in my opinion. You know, I agree. But it, but it comes off as a drama, right? Or at least the way they market the movie. Let's tell people what it is. And again, this Werner Herzog movie, in no way a remake of the <laughs> Abel Ferrara 1992 Bad a, Lieutenant. About a drug-addicted lieutenant. Although they're both I, about drug-addicted lieutenants. Who <laughs> are bad. Police force, right, who have sort of goodness in them, but are ultimately bad, corrupted by drugs and sex, mainly drugs. But they're n other than that. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, Nicolas Cage is the Bad Lieutenant. It is set in New Orleans. You are seeing... Uh, uh, scenes from the uh, uh, beginning of the film uh, where he is uh, heroic and rescues somebody in a flood, a prisoner, in a flood, uh, a Katrina-related flood. And then the story picks up later, and he has uh, become uh, addicted to heroin and crack. And Right, he, he starts with the painkillers. Right, he starts with painkillers right, from the rescue attempt, right, from injuring his right, back in the rescue right, attempt. As we know from people like Rush Limbaugh, Oxycontin being the gateway drug to right. other types of abuse. Well, this is a gateway <laughs> drug to, you know, uh, Ridiculous. snorting heroin off his thumb in the car with a... Uh, with somebody's girlfriend who he has had sex with in order to secure the heroin. Yeah. Right. All right. Slippery so, slope. Right. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. Um, now, uh, and in the meantime, he's trying to solve uh, the murder of, of, of five uh, uh, drug dealing immigrants. In right. The world. Senegalese and, and yeah. immigrants. I mean, there is, he, and it's an interesting dichotomy, right? Because he is trying to do his duty while his addictions are spiraling downward. And I'm just going to jump into my reaction. I originally thought, okay, I've seen Bad Lieutenant, I, I, the original, the 92 version, which is in no way what this movie is based <laughs> on. And, and I thought that, okay, well, I've seen this before. I've seen the story of a guy that goes bad. Uh, uh, do I really want to sit through this again? In the first 20 minutes or so, that, and I have to call out the awful film-going experience at the Beverly Center the Theater. Um, right. You know, I, I wasn't feeling it. And then probably about 20, 30 minutes into the movie, it caught me. You know, and, and where were you sitting? I was in the second row. Yeah, you were laughing then yes. in the back half. Yeah, you were, yeah, because there I was like, there's a guy laughing heartily up there. Well, that guy in the front row was laughing. <laughs> oh, very maybe hard. that was yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, look, I liked it. 
Uh, I mean, uh, I was surprised by it. I wasn't sure what I was going to get. I'm, you know, I, I'm iffy on Nick Cage because sometimes he does great stuff and sometimes it's just such utter crap that you're like, why is, I, don't I think, hate this guy, I can't stand him. I think it's not, I don't think, but I think that's the, I think you've used the exact wrong word for Nick Cage. I don't think you can be iffy on Nick Cage. Nick Cage is either, this guy can act. What a oh. terrific actor. Or you're like, what is this guy? Was that the... I couldn't possibly be the guy in Raising Arizona. Right. Couldn't possibly be the guy in Matchstick Men. Because, you know... I, I think when he's challenged yeah. to do something, he rises to the occasion. Definitely. But left to his own devices, he just... You know, he's a, he's, he's a bad example of somebody phoning it in. When Nick Cage phones it in, it's ugly. Right? It, yeah. It's not like some actors can phone it in. And it's okay. Sure. Not with Nick Cage. But yeah. this one... Boy, he's on fire in this movie. I think he's great. I, uh, I, not only was he great, I thought he should got he should get an Academy Award nomination. I mean, I'm going crazy. I thought he was fantastic. Okay. He's a, he's a great actor. First of all, he can play uh, addicted. Apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly. what he said. That's exactly. Uh, and then I'm like, wait, is that Paul Kilmer? What's Paul yeah. Kilmer doing in the most random, useless role of his career? Well, uh, you know, you, answer, you can answer that question pretty obviously. Also. Hey, this one isn't direct to DVD. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, but I just I felt sick to my stomach watching Val Kilmer, who's a great actor, but obviously an ass. Well, this is a, you, you know? he, he's been a difficult guy to work with reportedly. I don't I don't know Val Kilmer. I know that when I was interviewing John Frankenheimer, uh, shortly after I guess he'd done The Island of Doctor Moreau with Val Kilmer. Yes, and uh, I asked uh, uh, John Frankenheimer about working with Val Kilmer, and he repeated a li he gave me a line that it turned out he'd given before. I didn't know it at the time, but he said, uh, "Let me just put it this way." He said, I wouldn't cast Val Kilmer in the Val Kilmer story. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he did get cast in this. He didn't do anything in it, so it doesn't matter. I know really you matter. kept expecting that to be a. I'm like, it's somebody. Role. Do something, right? right? right. He, Although, you know, you got to look at Herzog's career, and based on mm -hmm. his work with Klaus Kinski, there's a guy who can work with troublesome actors, right? I mean. No, and that's why you know that Kilmer's good because, because Herzog cast him in it. I mean, right. in the sense that, like, like, this is not a nothing part. Because right. it's a Werner Herzog movie, that's why. Right. The, the, you know, so you don't you don't need to feel bad for Val Kilmer. For okay. Being All right. And then the main drug dealer was great too, and I'm like, I feel like I know that guy from somewhere. Yeah. And then of course it's Exhibit. It's Exhibit. It Eva was Mendes great. Was good. I'll tell you who I thought was really fantastic in a very minor but important role was Jennifer really? Coolidge. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you a, know, and I, a, and, a, and, a, and a real acting role. I mean, clearly not playing. Not you imagine. Right. Not who playing you Stifler's imagine mom. Is, is Jennifer Coolidge. Right. Yeah, or, or you know, or or in, uh, you know, in, in in waiting for Guffman, or, or right. uh, you know, or last or best in show. All right. So to f final analysis for me is, I mean, don't get me wrong. This movie was trippy. Okay. I mean, it was strange, and there were parts where you're like, "What is going on?" I'm like, "Is that real? Is that not real?" What you know? But I, it was interesting. There's no question about it. It was engaging, and here's the really funny part. At the end, I want to do bad things. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he got me worked up. Where I was like. Man, I'm living, my life is too calm. I'm I'm not living enough. I gotta squeeze a couple of people coming out of a club and right. you know and grab something out of them. That girlfriend scene in the beginning, I know, it was in the original Bad Lieutenant too. It was a similar scene, right? Uh, but just, it was hot. Just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, total coincidence. I know. But I mean, that was hot stuff, and I liked it. And I was like, I gotta be more bad. Well, and you know, it's it really is a fantastic example of what a black comedy can be. It's it's you know, it really celebrates. The evil. It takes this celebratory, gleeful tone to these awful things that Nicolas Cage is doing, and you're laughing at them. You know, it, it, they become funny. And and it's in any other movie, in or in a lot of other movies, you would look at this and just be horrified. Mm -hmm. You know, but in this one, you're laughing. They're funny, and it and it works. And now, it's not just. It's not. Ju but it's not. You know, I mean, I hear you on black comedy, but it's not. It's not really a comedy. Well, it's, no, it's 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 a black. Dramedy. I mean, right. you know. Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, uh, and I'm kidding because no one should ever say that. But uh, I mean, but there is a significant amount of drama in it. Right. It is not. They're not just looking for those right. winking right. laughs. Right. So in the end, I, I mean, I, I like the movie. I'm gonna give it an 8.0. Uh, but. Uh, it depends. I mean, if you don't like strange movies, then this is not the movie for you. Right, but it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not yeah, I don't want. Look, I've it's said not that, Blue Velvet strange. It's not David right. Lynch strange. No. Right, 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 yeah. right. It's right. not all a dream. Okay, right. so right. I wouldn't say it's a challenging movie. Right, no. uh -huh. and I don't no. mean that in a bad way. I understand. Right, right. I, as like a Lynch movie is challenging. You're not going to be like, what right. did I just see? Right. With you're not you don't need to see it like you, with Mulholland Drive, where you're like, I think I need to see that again right. to know what the hell just. And happened. And even then, still thinking, what the hell? Right, right. This one, 
you know, everything works. It, it's it's a fantastic movie. I, you know, I, I'd probably give it an eight. Yeah, you know? so we're right there. Same I, uh, I did my top uh, 11 list there for, uh, for, uh, for having to post, and I said that I didn't include two movies on it that I was pretty sure I'd have included if I'd seen them. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and one of them was this, and I would have. So it would have been, I don't know, fifth or sixth best movie of the year for me. So I'll give it an eight and a half. Yeah, no, real solid. So, I mean, look, again. Nicholas Cage is great. And also, real quick, I got it. Eva Mendez, like, some people, like, roll their eyes at Eva Mendez. I don't think she's been bad no, in anything. No, she's great. I don't think she's a, I don't know that she's going to win an Oscar, but she never embarrasses herself. She's beautiful. She's got a great smile. Her eyes mean something. She can look at you and convey an emotion. I think she's a good actress, and she's beautiful, and I thought she was good here. Right, a bit part from Fruza Balk, always a treat to see, especially yeah, scantily she, clad. She was very scantily but she, clad. But, but she works in the movie, too. You know, he gets Herzog gets great performances out of everybody in that film. He's, you know, he's Roger Ebert's favorite director. You know, I'm, I'm glad you brought up Eva Mendes because my final point is, man, look, she's already in my top five, but she's moving up. Yeah. I don't know how much further up she can go, but I fell in love with her. I mean, it's you I don't want to over dramatize get, and right. stuff. I mean, you can't she, get hotter than Eva Mendes. She's like in that. Yeah, it just doesn't. She, she's so goddamn sexy, it blows you away. I mean, so. If you're a guy, I mean, you got the drama, you got the crazy sex, you got Eva Mendez, you're going to go see this movie, okay? If you're a girl, all right, if you don't like no, trippy it's movies. No, it's not an action movie, though. I mean, it's, yeah. a, it, this is, it's an emotional movie, so I think, I think anybody who likes film is going to like this movie.